Luke Shaw has given Eric Ten Hag a simple Manchester United transfer decision to make. With Harry Maguire having fallen down the pecking order at Manchester United and Victor Lindelof out of contract next year, it would not come as a surprise if the Reds opted to add another defender to their squad this coming summer, especially considering the injury issues that Rafael Varane has struggled with at Old Trafford. Even after Lissandro Martinez arrived from Ajax in the summer transfer window, United continued to be linked with new defenders. However, with Eric Ten Hag's side currently possessing four senior centre-backs, something would probably have to give it they were to recruit at the end of the season. Prior to the World Cup, the first-choice centre-back pairing was Martinez and Varane. The duo complemented each other well and looked solid alongside each other. Ironically, they came up against each other in the final in Qatar, albeit with Martinez remaining an unused substitute as Argentina lifted the iconic trophy at France's expense. Understandably, Martinez was keen to celebrate the triumph with his teammates in Argentina, but the South American side's trophy celebrations meant that the United defender did not return to Carrington until December 28. By this point, the Reds had already returned to Premier League action, and in his absence, Ten Hag opted to play Luke Shaw at centre-back. Ten Hag is keen to have a right-footed centre-back on the right and a left-footed centre-back on the left. With both Maguire and Lindelof being right-footed, it was Shaw who was named in the starting lineup against Nottingham Forest, and the England international, typically a full-back, thrived in that position. The Reds cruised past Steve Cooper's side, and Shaw was relatively untroubled. Given his strong showing against Forest, he started alongside Varon once again against Wolves in the next match and impressed again. The 27-year-old moved back to the left against Bournemouth, but returned to the middle against Everton in the FA Cup. United secured another victory, with Shaw showing his versatility by performing well at the heart of defense. The level of his performances can be measured by the fact that Martinez's only start since returning from the World Cup came against Charlton Athletic in the Carabao Cup. Roy Keane, speaking after the win over the Toffees, suggested that Shaw would not start at centre-back in matches against tougher opponents. He was wrong. Ten Hag opted for the Englishman in that position against Manchester City in the Derby on Saturday, up against Erling Haaland, a striker who had 27 goals in 23 appearances coming into the Derby. Shaw was under pressure to deliver, especially with Martinez, Lindelof and Maguire all sat on the bench. The fact, then, that the Norwegian striker failed to even register a shot on target shows how well Shaw and his teammates dealt with City's main attacking threat. Ten Hag clearly views Shaw as a legitimate option at centre-back. The Dutchman would not have played him there against one of the best sides in the country if he didn't. While his strong performances at the heart of defence are likely to mean even less football for the likes of Maguire and Lindelof, they should also prove that United don't need to strengthen in that area this coming summer. Varane's injury troubles and in recent seasons could lead the Reds to sign a new centre-back in the next year or so, but there is certainly a suggestion that Shaw's emergence as a centre-back option should see United focus on other areas of the team moving forward. As an example, the Reds are going to need to spend big on a striker in the summer. Wout Weghorst has arrived on loan until the end of the season, but Ten Hag will be keen to ease some of the burden on Marcus Rashford, who has performed exceptionally well from the left wing this term. While playing Shaw at centre-back might have been a stopgap option against Forrest, he has demonstrated that he is more than capable of delivering there against the best teams. Martinez is likely to return at some point, but for now, having the option to play Shaw in that role is having several benefits, and that could be the case in the long term, too. In other news, Wout Weghorst trains with Man United teammates for the first time after signing on loan. Manchester United have added some firepower to their squad in the January transfer for window, with powerhouse forward Wout Weghorst joining the club on loan from Burnley. The Netherlands striker spent the first half on loan at Besiktas but had his loan in Turkey terminated to secure a six-month stay in Manchester. United announced Weghorst's arrival on the eve of their stunning 2-1 win over Manchester City earlier this weekend, but the transfer was not completed in time for him to take part. He was, however, in attendance to watch the memorable victory from the stands. United's schedule is busier than ever and there's little time for rest before it's time for another Premier League game, with a midweek trip to Sellers Park looming large. Weghorst will be available for that game and earlier on Sunday, the club revealed that Weghorst has taken part in his first training session with his new teammates. As seen below, Cristiano Ronaldo's controversial departure late last year certainly left a gaping hole in Eric Ten Hag's squad, and it was paramount that a replacement was brought in this month. 
Weghorst fits the profile which Tenhag has been looking for and although it's a short-term solution, it should go a long way towards helping United reach their goals for the season. Anthony Marshall was the only out-and-out -out forward left at the club after Ronaldo's departure and the Frenchman's fitness history and, as ever, commitment is still under the microscope. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.